Causes of Oil in My Coolant Reservoir If you notice oil in your coolant reservoir, it is a sign of a serious underlying issue with your engine, as these two fluids should remain completely separate to function properly. When oil and coolant mix, it indicates a breach somewhere in the engine system, typically due to a gasket failure, cracks, or internal leaks. The presence of oil in the coolant can lead to engine overheating, poor performance, and potentially catastrophic engine damage if not addressed promptly. Below are the most common reasons for oil appearing in the coolant reservoir and the implications of each. 1. Blown Head Gasket The most common cause of oil in the coolant is a blown head gasket. The head gasket seals the space between the engine block and cylinder head, preventing the mixing of oil, coolant, and combustion gases. If the head gasket fails, it can allow oil to seep into the coolant channels and vice versa. This typically happens due to engine overheating, which causes the gasket material to break down or crack. In addition to oil mixing with the coolant, a blown head gasket can also result in coolant leaking into the combustion chamber, leading to white smoke from the exhaust and a loss of engine power. A blown head gasket requires immediate repair, as continuing to drive with this condition can cause extensive engine damage. 2. Cracked Engine Block or Cylinder Head Another serious issue that could lead to oil in the coolant reservoir is a cracked engine block or cylinder head. Cracks in these components can allow oil to leak into the coolant system. This often happens due to severe engine overheating or after a sudden impact or mechanical stress on the engine. A cracked cylinder head or block is a severe condition, and the repair can be costly, often requiring a full engine rebuild or replacement. Other symptoms of this problem might include engine misfires, overheating, and noticeable drops in engine performance. If you suspect a cracked block or head, it's crucial to stop driving the car and have it inspected by a professional mechanic immediately. 3. Faulty Oil Cooler Some engines are equipped with an oil cooler, which uses coolant to help regulate oil temperature. If the oil cooler becomes damaged or develops an internal leak, it can cause oil and coolant to mix. A faulty oil cooler will not only result in oil entering the cooling system but may also cause coolant to mix with the engine oil, leading to frothy or milky oil. This can severely compromise the lubrication of engine components and lead to accelerated wear. If the oil cooler is the culprit, the issue can usually be resolved by replacing the cooler and flushing the cooling system to remove any contaminants. 4. Damaged or Worn Seals Worn or damaged seals within the engine, such as the intake manifold gasket or timing cover gasket, can also allow oil and coolant to mix. Over time, gaskets and seals degrade due to age, heat, and pressure, leading to small leaks. These leaks may start off slow, but they can grow over time and cause a noticeable amount of oil to accumulate in the coolant reservoir. In this case, the solution typically involves replacing the damaged gaskets or seals, which is less expensive than fixing a cracked block or head but still requires mechanical expertise. 5. Oil Contamination from External Sources In some cases, oil in the coolant reservoir may not be due to a catastrophic engine failure, but rather contamination from an external source, such as someone accidentally adding oil to the coolant reservoir. While this is less likely, it is still possible, especially if the vehicle has recently been serviced. In such cases, Thoroughly flushing the cooling system should resolve the issue. However, it's always a good idea to inspect for other symptoms to rule out more serious causes. 6. Consequences of Oil and Coolant Mixing The mixing of oil and coolant can have disastrous effects on your engine if left unchecked. Coolant is designed to dissipate heat, while oil lubricates engine parts. When they mix, neither fluid can perform its job effectively. The coolant can become contaminated with oil reducing its ability to cool the engine properly, leading to overheating. At the same time, the oil loses its lubricating properties, which can cause increased friction and wear on engine components. Over time, this can result in major engine damage, including warped cylinder heads, worn bearings, and seized engine components. 7. Diagnosis and Repair If you find oil in your coolant reservoir, it is essential to stop driving the vehicle immediately and have it diagnosed by a professional mechanic. A visual inspection of the fluids and an engine compression test or leak down test can help pinpoint the exact cause of the issue. Depending on the diagnosis, repairs could range from replacing a gasket or oil cooler to more extensive work like fixing a cracked head or engine block. 
After the repair, the entire cooling system will need to be flushed thoroughly to remove any oil residue that could cause future problems. In conclusion, oil in the coolant reservoir is a serious symptom that should never be ignored. It can indicate significant engine issues such as a blown head gasket, cracked cylinder head, faulty oil cooler, or worn seals. The sooner the issue is addressed, the better the chance of preventing severe engine damage and avoiding costly repairs. Always consult a qualified mechanic to properly diagnose and resolve the problem.